If you're a solo content writer managing your content creation in WordPress, you'll want to stick around for this quick five minute video. So today we're diving into boosting productivity and simplifying content collaboration in WordPress tailored just for you. So as a solo content writer, you often have to manage various projects and clients, right? Well, Multicollab is your secret weapon inside WordPress. That means no more tool hopping or platform switching. It's all right there in WordPress. Ready to see how? Okay, so let's dive in. Okay, so let's pretend that you're working on this blog post here. So this could be an article or even perhaps a page within WordPress. As you can see, you have a few different paragraphs here, some bullet points, etc., etc. So now maybe you'd like to put a note here somewhere so that you won't forget the next day. So what you can do basically is to highlight the last sentence here. And as you can see, you have an icon here with a plus sign or here as well. You can click on either of those. So if you click on this, now as you can see, you have a box here by the side. And now you can post a comment to yourself. So perhaps something like this. Add point number four, attach document to comments. And then you can post your comment. And now maybe you come back the next day, decide to work on this project again. All you have to do is scroll down the page. And here you have your own comment as a reminder. And now you can add point number four. So well, there you go. As you can see, now I've added point number four. So this is how you can add reminders reminders for yourself and now you can mark this as done as you can see if you hop on top you can mark this as resolved all you have to do is take this okay and then select yes so that's all fair and well so now let's say you want to invite a guest maybe your client or any stakeholder that has a say in this story here maybe you want them to have a quick review of the document with you and make sure that all the points are correct or something similar to this so what you can do basically is hover here on top as you can see with the multi collab logo if you click on it it will reveal this section here as you can see of a share button if you click on this now you can invite anyone just by using their email address all you have to do is click on this add people and as you can see here, just by typing their email address, we can invite someone. So let's invite David here as an example, okay? And I can make them either viewer or commenter. So let's add them as a commenter. And then you can even add a parcel message if you wanted to. So perhaps something like this, you know, hi Dave, care to join in and double check if everything is okay before we publish, thanks. And then you can send this message. Now David will receive an email and as you can see we have a confirmation that the invitation was sent so now we can close this and this is the email that David has received as you can see he's invited to collaborate on this document here and all he has to do is click on this button here open and he will have access to that document without needing any credentials at all and now that you invited David to work with you on this document you can add inline comments so for instance I'm going to highlight this section here and then you can add a comments and now you can tag David directly so if you tag the add sign and tag David as you can see David will be there immediately okay so now you can send a message directly to him so for instance hey Dave is that fact correct and now you can even assign this to David personally so what does that mean well if you assign this to David he will be responsible for marking it as done whereas if this is not ticked either of you can mark it as done okay so let's assign this to David personally and let's post our comment and now when David accesses your blog post he will be able to see your message and review the content here so let's say yes this is 100% correct so reply and now David can mark this as done so let's hover here on top mark as resolved yes there you go sort it now let's scroll down the page a little bit and as you can see as per point number four either of you can attach documents to your comments so let's attach a document to this as an example okay so let's click on that so let's add our comment in this case I'll be talking to everyone involved in this document or I can tag John Doe immediately by tapping the add sign very good and as you can see as per my message I think we should add a nice image here in between the paragraphs and now we can attach an image to our message so all we have to do is click on this paper clip here so for this we can either select a pdf file or even an image okay so either file is absolutely fine so let's select an image here as an example so let's take this file and as you can see it's been added to our comment so let's post our comment and now when John Doe comes back to his blog post he will see your message as you can see I think we should add a nice image here and all we have to do is basically click on the image itself it will open up in a new tab and show us what type of image we should insert so we can save this image ourselves insert it there or find a similar one and now that we have inserted our image we can mark this as done hover on top click on this and select yes and finally let me show you the suggestion mode so for this you have to go back to multi collab here we go to settings and make sure that we enable it first so use this toggle switch here okay so as you can see now it's enabled and now we can use that feature on our document here so let's say if i wanted to suggest an edit for this word here i want to emphasize this maybe in bold and italic as you can see by the side this is recorded here immediately as you can see format bold font italic 
And now anyone coming along can either accept or reject the suggestion. So let's accept this. And as you can see, now our changes have taken effect. And we can also suggest edit to replace some words. Or for instance, instead of the word explore, we would like to have the word discover. All you have to do is highlight this word, hit the delete key, there you go, as you can see, this is marked off, and then you can type the word that you want to replace it with. So for instance, discover. And now again, anyone coming along could either accept or reject this suggestion. So let's accept this. And there you go, as you can see, our changes have taken place. And now perhaps you'd like to watch a more in-depth video about all the features Multicolab has to offer. If this is the case, we'll leave a video right here.